Let's make our own stickers with some tape. So you've probably seen me make stickers with laser prints because I do have a printable club. However, you don't always have to use laser prints. And let me just show you some fun stuff you can do with a little bit of packing tape and some creativity. So I have some regular packing tape, the stuff you buy at Staples or Walmart, or wherever. Uh, I have some water here. It can be warm. I, I just use tepid. It doesn't really matter. Scissors, something to uh, scratch, scrape kind of thing. Um, you can use an old credit card. This is just something I happen to have around because I have a Cricut. And I've got an envelope here from Christmas. I think last year they sent me some of those um, bonus Christmas things. So I'm going to actually use this part. I've got an old book here, an old uh, thrift store book that I grabbed, like my lighting up there. <laughs> That's so you can see better. So you're welcome. And this is um, a flan pan or a, I forget what else you call it. I've actually got other, other uh, plans for this as well, but I'm going to use this today. All right, so we'll get this out of the way for now. We're not going to need that until a little later. I'm going to just take my scissors and cut a roughly around the picture now this is just a regular envelope right uh you if you find something say at the dollar store at walmart or maybe you saved something um if, if you saved it be a little more careful practice this technique first before you go ahead and just um jump in okay so i'm going to take my paper and i'm going to cover it in packing tape so i'm just going to grab some tape and it doesn't, it has to overlap if you want it all on the, want the whole picture. Um, but it, it doesn't have to be next to each other. Okay. It just has to overlap a little bit. You just take your time. You're not teaching a, a video on Facebook, right? So I'm going to just overlap it a little bit. All right. And you can see, all right. So I have it taped down, right? And that lighting is perfect there, isn't it? Don't you think? I'm just going to take my little scraper, whatever you have, your credit card, and I'm just going to, um, where the, the print is, I'm going to give it a good scrub, right? I really want that stuck to the tape. The white doesn't matter. The white's going to come off, right? But where I want the picture to stick, I really want it to be pushed down. You can use the back of a spoon for this. I've done that too. Um, so you just use what you have. And do this on the tape side. That is all. Okay. There we go. All right, we're good. So I'm going to take this and give it a trim around what I want to keep. Okay. So let's say I just want the birds. I'm going to give it a not too, too close, but I just, I don't want to have to spend time getting all that white off there. All right. And this. Is going to amaze you. Prepare to be amazed. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm like going to just drop it into the warm water and let it sit for a couple of minutes. And you can see it starts to curl up. That's okay. Just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. We'll get rid of that one and we will start another one. So I have this old um, kids book and I'm going to go through it and find a picture that I like that I want to use for Christmas. So say I want the Santa picture or Rudolph, whatever you want. Um, you pick one that make, makes you think, oh, I love that for Christmas, right? You could do this. I think I'm going to go, hmm. Just a quick look here. I didn't plan this ahead. Just thought, oh, this book is cute. You could use that one. I'm going to use that one. Okay, so we all know the story of Rudolph, right? So let's just cut a picture out of that book. It doesn't have to be perfect. Same thing with the tape. We're going to tape across everything that we want to keep. Just a little overlap there. Now, I'm not entirely sure how the, 
the blue is going to work out in the dark sky. I've never tried that before, so we're going to find out, right? This is how we learn. We think, hmm, I bet that'll work. And then we try it. Well, this is the biggest one I've ever done. Again, spoon, scraper, whatever. Just give it a good scrape, especially over the parts that you really want to stick to the tape. Okay, I'm also going to trim around that one. We need Rudolph's nose, right? So we don't want to, we don't want to miss that. That's kind of the important part of the story, isn't it? I think you're going to like this. I thought it was lots of fun. I, it's one of those things that you're just like, no way. How does that work when you're all done? But it works, and it's fun. Great thing to do with the kids, maybe. And get them to think, oh, wait, how does that work? All right, so I'm going to use that picture there. Now, I'm going to pull this one out. And I'm going to drop that in there. All right. Just make sure it's all going to get wet. I'm going to let that sit up there. Now this one, all right, it's been soaking for a few minutes. You can see it's it's getting kind of a uh, see-through. Now you're just going to take your finger and you're just going to start to rub some of that paper off. Okay, see that? Go gently. If you rub too hard, you can rub the image right off. All right, and then you can see how it's starting to come off. Look on that side. You can see it's starting to show through. So we just keep going. You'll have to go back and forth. So see, it just starts to ball up, right? So I just like to rinse that off, get it off, and you can see it's starting to get more see-through, right? So you have to do this. You have to work at it. And you can do it with a sponge, but I do prefer my finger. I just find that um, I'm not as rough, I guess, because I'm actually feeling it. I can feel where the paper is, and I'm, I'm a little more delicate with it, a little more gentle on it. So you can see we got more off there. It's starting to come clear. Look at that. See? the more And the more you can work on this, the better off. Let me just dry that. And you can feel it with your finger. Just rub your finger over it and you can feel it. It gets quite smooth and tape-like, but you can go too far. So this is definitely a rustic look if you're not careful. Um, you can definitely pull some of the color off too. So don't worry, you can stop because you're going to be putting it on something light. So the white that's maybe, the paper that's maybe still on there will probably not show much. All right, so just going to dry that off a little bit so you can see on the white how it just becomes basically clear. Isn't that something? Isn't that awesome? And, all right, I'm just going to put that aside. I'm going to work on that big one now. So check it out. Now we've got pictures on both sides here, so this should be more interesting. I've never done that before. Let's just tape that mat down so it stops moving around on me. There we go. All right. You need it nice and soaked. I mean, you can let it sit longer. And like I say, it's just tepid water. So flip that over. I'm going to start, and we're going to hopefully see how that's coming off. Get your fingers wet, too. You don't want them dry.
Sina. So you can see it is really starting to come out that way. Okay, I'm going to work on it a little bit more because I can still feel some of the paper. And hopefully I don't go too far, but even if you do, it's okay. We, we do uh, farmhouse style. A little rustic is good. I want to be careful around that Santa and around Rudolph, but the rest of them, it's okay. All right. I'm going to let that dry. You can hang it up to dry like this. I'm going to let that dry and in a couple minutes I'll come back and show you the end result. All right now, so we have let it dry and it is not perfect. You can see that is the the side that was paper and this is the original, like the tape side, like that. And But the fun part about this is wherever it was white and if you've got enough of the paper off, it becomes sticky again. Check it out, like that. So this is where it becomes fun because you can stick this to different things. So I have gone ahead and I grabbed some of the wording, I don't know if you can see that, from the story. And I'm going to add that to this. Now, this is not permanent. This is just a little bit of fun, right? And for Christmas decor, maybe put it up on a stand. So I'm going to take, you can see the wording now, right? It says, um, uh, so if you see a soft glow in the sky on Christmas Eve, you can be sure that Rudolph, the most famous reindeer of all, is very near. So I'm going to just pop that over here to the side for a minute. I'm going to find where I want this one to go. Put the biggest piece on first. All right. Remember, it's going to be sticky now once it's dry. And I can stick that down onto my plate. And the better you've gotten the paper off, the better this is going to stick. Look at that. You can see Rudolph's nose. Wherever it was white, there is actually no print or ink there. So you're going to find that that's going to get, that'll be sticky where it was white before. And that's good. That's good for you. You, you know, if you know that, you can use it to your advantage. So like I say, it's not permanent, but it's definitely lots of fun because it does get sticky again once you let that tape dry. 
I'm just getting bubbles worked out because ain't nobody got time for that, right? Then I'm going to take my wording and it came out the right way up because of the way it's taped. And if I'm like, hmm, that might be too far down, I can take this up again and move it up a little bit. So let's do that. All right, Rudolph, let's get everybody moved up. Santa, Rudolph. Up we go. I so think this is so much fun. I always love this technique. Oh, be careful that it doesn't stick back on itself. That is the one danger here. Okay. So there. And like I say, the better you've gotten the paper off, the more sticky it's going to be. So this is going to go right up on here, I think. What wow, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Check it out. So now you have, look at that. It's from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, an old golden book. If you have a kid's book or something that you're, you know, you don't mind cutting up. Um, I know some people won't, won't do crafts with books, but I'm not one of those people. This was a thrift store book. So, you know, it was not getting any love in the thrift store, but now it's going to get lots of love at my place. And the last tip I can tell you is this, that um, if you can see on this, okay, you can see that it's still got a lot of white on it. Um, let's see that one. You can see it's still got a bit. If it dries and it still has white on the back, right, like quite a bit, just pop it back in the water, soak it for a few more minutes, and rub it again, and it will come out. All right. So now we can take these. All right. So this is the one from, uh, that's the, the bird one I did. And I've got a cup here, and I'm just going to, Put it onto a regular plain old dollar store. Now, this is not quite dry yet, so I'm just showing you. And it's a bit too big, so you would need to trim that off, right? So, but you just want to get the right size. But isn't that cute? Look how that. Get that from underneath there. Look how that looks. Isn't that sweet? You can put it on cups. You can put it on whatever you like. I'm going to trim this down so it fits just right. So that is still wet right now. That is why it came off so easily. Because I'm just showing you. So I'm just letting it dry. But you get the idea. Again, this is not permanent decor, but it certainly can be cute enough for Christmas. Maybe put a candle in here in the cup. Let's see, get you up there. You have your. So this works with any magazine, any book, pretty much anything that's printed on paper, calendar, um, you know, those calendars from Jennifer Pooh, Poo, I think her name is Pa, Pa. I don't know. She does the cute farmhouse calendars. There you go, guys. Let me see if I can get a good shot of these. With just some tape. Where's the packing tape? Isn't that adorable? I love that so, so much. All right. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll give it a try, and let me see what you do.